14. <laughs> I can deliver. All right, to uh, item 14 is to authorize an award and approve a contract with the Cobb Community Foundation for the Community Impact Grant Program. And Bill, you have the floor along with uh, Mayor, Mayor Tommy Allgood. And Mayor, I'm sorry we kept you so long, but it's always great to have you tonight. Great, I'm not. I'll owe him for many, many years. I'm glad he's still there. <laughs> Well, sir, uh, on the screen, we have the award, the 2015 award for the Cobb Community Impact Grants, as well as on the next slide, we'll have the 2016 award. Um, the agenda item that I'm presenting here today is to authorize an award and approve a contract with the Cobb Community Foundation for the Cobb Community Impact Grant Program. And um, I'm going to turn it over to Mayor, Mayor Algott. Thank you. Just a couple of comments, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, thank you for your uh, past two years' support of this impact grant program. It's been very, very effective, and we would ask you to please support this in this coming year, this 2017, uh, as we continue to support uh, the nonprofit community. And, and I've, at this time, if you have any questions uh, concerning past or present uh, about the COP Community Impact Grant, I'd be delighted to, uh, to address those questions. So um, I guess I'll carry this. I uh, make a motion to authorize an award and approve a contract with the Cobb Community Foundation for the C Community Impact Grant Program, and the amount, and the amount of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Second. And uh, any discussions, uh, Commissioner Ott. Um, Mr. Chairman, I just uh, I've stated my concerns the last two years, and I just I still feel the same way, so I, I can't support this. Mm -hmm. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Cupid. Yes, we've had some discussion about this item at length yesterday, and um, there are a couple of matters that came up. One was um, in, in light of some of the concerns that Commissioner Ott shared that I also shared with respect to some of the challenges that we've observed with our regular grant um, program that we have um, through Cobb Community Collaborative. The response to some of those concerns were addressed in an audit that had a number of recommendations which were not followed up on in its entirety. And there was an expectation that that would be done at the end of last year, but with some changes in ad administration that did not occur. I have concern, I had concern then, I had concern my initial year I came in office with respect to that. And it was always a fur, we'll look at the audit, we'll change, we'll make certain changes. And to date, we haven't done it. And this is very difficult because we have a lot of good service providers in our community that provide a good work. But we still have a lot of outstanding challenges that other service providers have had about how they tap into the number of resources that go into our proper, proper community. Instead of us dialing back that program, pulling it and saying, let's make some revisions, we expanded it to address some of the concerns, but they don't address all the concerns in its entirety. And there have been some questions about it that there are people who are receiving grant funds through both programs, the one that was initially questioned by the audit and this expanded program. So I, I have some concerns about that. Secondly, I have a greater concern procedurally, and this was to, um, addressed in the um, county reserve agenda item where we um, discussed and, and, and reflected on the past year's prior proposed budget and made some decisions to honor past decisions of the board, which are reflected in that. And so when we made changes tonight that weren't discussed with the board, it threw me off guard because those changes were not discussed between the original contemplation of that list and today. I have concerns about this agenda item because this was in a list of several items to be considered in their last year's budget, which were not included or considered because of the 6.66 millage rate and just our lack of flexibility. A lot of decisions were deferred until you coming on board. However, we did make decisions, periodic decisions on some of those items when those items 
came up to the board, like the state court judge or even Rebecca Keaton, but they came and they talked to us individually, even prior to coming on the board. So we knew those were outstanding issues that we can massage and consider prior to us considering it, it on the agenda. So I thought that we would, similar to those items, have the ability to discuss how we were gonna move forward on that list of discretionary items in the budget. So I was very surprised when I got my agenda book and I saw this on there without us never coming together to consider really what was the path forward on this item. And short of that, without there being prior discussion for us to massage this, I'm not saying this is not a bad thing to do, but in a list of a, not, a lot of considerations, including things that impact similar populations that would be impacted by this, having library hours where kids can go study after school, having Sunday transit, having other things that impact populations at need, those things, This by putting this on the agenda in this type of fashion, it, it sends to me, it sends a signal of prioritization. And if it doesn't send a signal of prioritization, I'm curious to know that after the approval of this item tonight, does that mean that those other items that were not on the budget are at play to be brought up in future agendas? And if so, where are those funds come, you know, what makes funds accessible for this here today that those funds, that those other programs, do they have access to those same resources or are we, are we just saying this is an exception to be considered tonight? Okay. Uh, Commissioner Weatherford. Thank you. Uh, we all went through some uh, long hours looking at the budget last year, and to Commissioner Cupid's uh, point, there were many items that all of us wanted to address. And the discussion was we can each bring those up, or the court judges can bring those up back to this board at any time for consideration. That's simply what we've done here. If there's anything on that list that any other commissioner wants to bring up, I think it's our uh, right to do so and be uh, taken and looked at for this board to look at it and consider individually. And to me, that's what the purpose of a budget is. We pass a budget, anything that's added to it, either one-time money ongoing, uh, anyone has a right to bring that forward and discuss it and to do that. So I would encourage any commissioner that has other items that would like to be brought forward, do like I did, do like others did, go find a source for that and then bring it forward for the board to discuss. So that's simply what was done here. Commissioner Bull. Yes. Um, and that was my understanding too, when we passed the continuation budget, <clears throat> the things that um, were on on the, but in the budget, but not um, approved because they were increases and had to be sustained. Um, we did say, you know, that they would come back this year once the new chairman was on board and be brought forward and really not in any specific order, just come back before us and, and make their requests. Um, we have seen over the past two years the success of the impact grants in this program. Uh, they have made presentations every year with the money that has been given to these organizations, and they've shown their their um, contribution and impact to the community, to our youth, to our seniors, um, whatever the program is. And I do feel it is a very um, worthwhile program and it does serve a purpose that we potentially can't do as a county government um, and don't have the, you know, wherewithal resources, manpower to do. Um, but when it was first started, it was a pilot program for the first year. And I had asked that after the first year, if we were going to continue it, that it be part of the the whole nine hundred thousand at the time budget for the, all the nonprofits and be incorporated in the budget that way, rather than even though it's a separate program from the collaborative, um, I felt it should be part of the budget with all the nonprofits in in the amount you know, determined by this board. So um, I do support this for this year, but I would like to see it incorporated in the budget with all the nonprofits um, moving forward. Thank you. Commissioner Ott. I just have a couple other comments based on um, some of what I've heard. Um, first off, as Commissioner Burrell said, the first year this was supposed to be a pilot program. This is the third year. 
can't keep going back to the piggy bank and taking money out of fund balance just because we like a program. Commissioner Burrow last year said she thought it should have been part of the budget. It's not part of the budget. Now we're going to we're going to spend money from fund balance. I mean, you know, either we use the budget process, put things in the budget, and follow that process, or I mean, we just can't keep going into the fund balance. There's reasons why we have that in there, and I agree with Commissioner Cupid that we had a long list of folks that that had needs, requirements, requests, and all that. And um, I just I agree with Commissioner Cupid that this you know just it's popped its head up again for the third year in a row when it was supposed to be a pilot program two years ago. Well, I think the cavalry is coming to the rescue here. Uh, I think we talked about this tonight, the new budget process. It, in the system that, I, that I'm proposing, there's going to be two times during the year when we'll be addressing these issues. One at the, me, the, the major budget vote at the end of the summer, before we go into October. And then at the mid-year review, as I'm calling it, which will be, I now understand, is going to be like in April or May. So... I think Commissioner Cuba's got a great point here. The problem with the way it is now is, is that whoever comes first, all right, if that money's approved, that diminishes the resources are available for something else. So there's no fairness to this. We're not all addressing these at one time. We're picking them off as we get an opportunity to put them onto the agenda. The way we're gonna we're gonna fix this right up front here is that we're gonna see here shortly with a new appointment that the county manager the vice chairman and I are going to sit down um, every week and talk about what goes on the agenda. And that way we're going to be communicating to all the commissioners what's on there. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'm still getting the feel for how this agenda is, is done. It's a learning process for me. And I'm not saying that I was surprised what was on here because – the county manager and I talked a lot about it, but I didn't know all about it, but I get an understanding now why it's important for me to have eyes on for that agenda for the very reasons that we're talking about here. So there are no surprises because it goes back to my commitment to the commissioners from day one. There will be no surprises. So I'll take this one on. Uh, that one got to the crack. It won't happen next time because the process is going to make sure that two of us on the board are going to see that agenda before it goes to print. The county manager and I have talked about it. We may have to move the move it back a couple of days to make sure that we give the staff time to properly put this together. So there's two parts here. We're going to have a new way of looking at the agenda. And for the budget process, we're not going to be having every month bringing up new bu budget items here. There's going to be two times during the year when you get to fight for the budget. During the, the main budget process, which is going to go up until October 1st, and then at the mid-year review, which is going to be sometime in April or May, when we take a look to see if we have increased revenue from the tax digest that allows us to bring programs into the budget that we all get to discuss collectively as uh, a group. And the third thing is that I spoke with, uh, with Mayor Allgood, as I did with uh, Jerry Barr, about my, um, my approach to this kind of a program, that if it's if it's doing things that the county should be doing, but we don't, and they bring a service to the county, I think it fits the description of qualifying for county uh, assets, uh, county money. If it doesn't, then I don't think it qualifies. But I owe them both criteria for what that looks like. And the last thing is the reason I'm going to support this is because there are people behind these programs. There are people who have needs in this community behind these programs, and I'm not going to throw them out. Uh, I'm not going to throw the baby out with the, with the bathwater. So I've heard two commissioners tonight, three, tell me that there were commitments made in the past about how we're going to address this. You can put this in concrete. We're not going to have this discussion next year at this time. So what I owe Mayor Allgood and what I owe Jerry Barr and everybody else who wants to be in this process, what's the criteria of how we're going to collectively do this? And I'll be getting input from all the commissioners as well as the county manager and the stakeholders about how to do this. Because it's a new, it, evidently there are, there are concerns about not everyone being able to have access to the resources. And I'm all about fairness and equity. So um, I think that there's some great points made here tonight, but I just want to make up front here that I told Mayor Allegood, uh, how I thought about this earlier, but tonight, uh, even if it's only 75% are going to benefit, 
those 75% are people, and they mean something in my world. So I will, I will support the resolution. Okay, Mr. Cupid. Chairman, in light of the comments that you made, I would ask that um, as the board approves this, that it be conditioned upon um, review and implementation of the suggestions that were in our county audit of, of our grant, nonprofit grant programs. I, I've, I've actually got it written down right here, but thanks for reminding okay. me. Absolutely. And, you know, quite honestly, uh, County Manager, uh, Mr. Hankerson, this might be a great first test box for how we start doing the new process. After they've gone through their process of, of uh, deciding how, who you're going to do and what you're going to fund, we'll bring you back later in the spring and put you on the, uh, on the test stand and give you first dibs, perhaps, of how the new process is going to look. And that will help you shape your future and how you make your proposals next year. That'd be great. Just a, just a reminder to the commissioners, uh, our, the way our process works, that we'll begin after approval, uh, that we'll have a selection committee, and that selection committee uh, has criteria that is made up from an advisory selection committee uh, that each one of you will have an opportunity to appoint somebody to. But through that process, uh, we, we come up with the selection and recommendation, then we come back to you for final approval. So, so we're going to come back. We'll be back here uh, before the, the grants are actually announced uh, at our luncheon in May. So uh, you're going to have an opportunity to see us again real soon. That still isn't going to take you off the test bed because you have a process and it gives us a chance to have an extended discussion sure. and gives you an idea of what we're looking for and also allows us to test the criteria that we're going to be applying here. So I'm looking for, for um, something that's, that's rather easy to get our arms around. And I think the way you do it, well, obviously, you know, when you come back, we have the process. But then later on, because you do have an established process, we can, we can measure about how our system uh, uh, process is going to work. And, and in the end, we'll all benefit from it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? Then in this case, um, let's find the motion here. Oh, uh, I call a question. And the vote passes four to one with uh, Commissioner Ott uh, in opposition. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming tonight.